Welcome all of you, we will start the topic about, IR thermography testing, sixth topic in the types of NDT. This is a free certified, YouTube course. Subscribe the channel for updates on new topics. We will start with, what is IR thermography test? IR thermography is a form of non-destructive testing, that measures temperature variances of a component as heat, that is thermal radiation, flows through, from, or to that component. You can see, an image in this slide. This image shows about, the IR thermograph test. You can see a infrared lasor is trying to detect and sense the radiated heat in the wire, which will give whether the wire, is in good or bad quality and the flow of electricity inside the wire is as per requirement. Different names for IR thermography test. IRT infrared radiation test. TT thermal testing. TI thermal imaging. IRT IR thermometry. When was it discovered and by whom? Discovered by Sir William Herschel. During 1840s, but use started from 1929. The reason to develop IR thermography test. For mapping temperature levels and variances of a component. You can see the different uses in IR thermography testing. Emitted radiation. Surface temperature, variation in temperatures, military appliances. Aviation industries. Advantages. IR cameras are easy to use, electrical installations can be quickly scanned, results in real time. Disadvantages. Requires certain experience and knowledge. Direct view of the electrical components required. Accuracy can be difficult due to varying emissivity. You can have a view about the innovations. An infrared thermal camera is used. And in many new alterations, have been done to improve the accuracy in the outputs. Next you will be seeing a video for live visualization. Faster, better, more efficient at a lower cost. Industry is facing these issues every day. In order to reach these goals, plants need to be running continuously. No costly breakdowns, no waste of time. So when you're in charge of plant predictive maintenance, you really have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. If you could only see when components are about to fail, you could accurately decide the best time to take corrective action. Unfortunately, the worst problems remain hidden until it's too late. But on a thermal image, the problems seem to jump right out at you. Whether you're monitoring high voltage equipment, low voltage cabinets, motors, pumps, high temperature equipment, looking for insulation losses, a thermal imaging camera is the one tool that really lets you see it all. But what if you don't do thermal inspections on a regular basis? Is it really that bad if a low voltage connection breaks down? Aside from the production loss, there's a greater danger, fire. A small electrical problem can have extremely far reaching consequences. The efficiency of the electrical grid becomes low, and so the energy is spent generating heat. If left unchecked, heat can rise to the point where connections start to melt. Not only that, but sparks can fly, setting the environment on fire. The effects of a fire are often underestimated. Besides the destruction of goods and machinery, the immense costs in production time, water damage, and even the loss of human life are impossible to estimate. 35% of industrial fires are created by electrical problems, resulting in losses of 300 billion euros per year. Many of these problems can be avoided with the use of thermal imaging cameras. By detecting anomalies that would normally be invisible to the naked eye, and by solving problems before production goes down or a fire occurs, 
FLIR Systems Thermal Imaging Camera users report ultra-fast payback on their investment. Production breakdowns, fires, don't let this happen to you. Put thermal imaging to work in your facility and start saving time and money today. What new methods and for which type of industries do you think it can be developed? Write in the comments below. Steps to complete course. Watch complete series. Answer few questions on Telegram. Message in group in the format given below. Next video in this series will be about types of leak testing. Next video link will be in the description below. Subscribe the channel for updates on new video of the series. Thank you from Team Hipstema.